My name is Professor James Logan and I'm the head of the Department of Disease Control at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and part of our research is to understand how infections can change our body odour and we're looking at ways that we can detect those changes in infection as a way of diagnosing disease. So in response to the, the coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, we've been looking at ways that we might be able to detect um, the infection by looking at whether coronavirus actually changes body odour. So we know from previous studies that we've done, for example, with malaria, that a malaria infection changes uh, how attractive you are to mosquitoes, um, and that is caused by a change in body odour. And we've also demonstrated that we can use dogs to detect people who have malaria. Um, now, most infections do change body odour, uh, and we've got every reason to believe that coronavirus is doing the same. So once we've proven that that is the case, uh, what we're really interested in doing is uh, training dogs to detect people with coronavirus. So we have uh, uh, around about six dogs um, that are pre-trained. Uh, so they've been trained to detect other things, for example, from our malaria study. And we will be looking to sort of repurpose or retrain these dogs to detect people with coronavirus. And if we can do that successfully, um, then we'd be looking to scale that up um, and use more dogs um, to do it. But at the moment, um, with each individual dog, uh, we could screen up to 250 people per hour. We um, have heard about some anecdotal um, evidence that some dogs may have become infected or passed that on. Um, I think it is really anecdotal. In fact, there's scientific evidence that dogs are not very susceptible to um, this coronavirus um, and instead cats seem to be more uh, susceptible. Um, for the study that we're doing, um, the samples that we will be testing with the dogs um, will be sterile. Um, so the dogs and their handlers will be safe. Um, and going forward when dogs are um, uh, working in praxis, the dogs wouldn't have to come into contact with anybody to detect uh, whether they're infected or not. So again, there's very little, uh, or the risk of them contracting anything would be very low. But we do have to remember that, of course, dogs um, can act like a surface, just like any other surface. So if they were to come into contact with somebody infected, um, they would sort of have to be decontaminated themselves. And so we'll have very strict protocols and that ensure the welfare um, of the dogs.